One, two ways to save money on your car insurance. After fuel, insurance is usually one of the biggest. Annual costs for motorists and saving money on car insurance can be a frustrating aspect of car ownership. Not only is car insurance a hefty expense, but because insurance companies take into account a wide variety of factors. When calculating premiums, the sum a driver pays for. Insurance every year can be unpredictable and influenced by factors beyond a motorist's control. Advertisement Age plays a big part certainly, largely because the younger a driver is, the more statistically likely they are to be involved in an accident. Which is why car insurance is so expensive for teenagers and 20-somethings. On average, someone under 25 will have to fork out 2,145 pounds to insure their car while a typical 25 to 49-year-old will pay in the region of 850 pounds. For the over 50s, that'll be more along the lines of 568 pounds. Few people will move house just for the sake of their car insurance. But where you live can also wreak havoc on your premium. Drivers who live in London pay more on average for car insurance than those in the southwest of England and the Scottish borders, for example. In the latter areas, cars are seen to be at a lesser risk of theft or vandalism. And if you live in a terrace house with no access to off-street parking, your premium will be higher still. Thankfully, insurance premiums aren't entirely in the lap of the gods and there's still a lot motorists can do to bring down the... Here are our tips on how to reduce your car insurance premium. 1. Shop around. There are a lot of car insurance providers out there, all competing for your attention. The best way to save on your insurance, any insurance, is to shop around. That doesn't mean spending hours online or on the phone. Getting quotes from every insurance company in the land. A quick call to an insurance broker will usually net motorists a good deal on the policy that's the best fit for them. While a number of price comparison websites such as USWitch, MoneySupermarket.com, GoCompare or CompareTheMarked allow drivers to input their details and find the best deal available. From a selection of providers, potentially saving them hundreds of pounds every year. Remember, the cheapest quote isn't necessarily the best one. Do your research and see what the policy covers breakdown assistance, windscreen cover, etc. As a slightly more expensive policy may offer better value. In the long run, there's no point either in opting for the bare minimum level of cover. If, if it's, it's going, going to mean, mean that, that you're, you're left, left severely, severely out of out of pocket, pocket after, after a crash, a crash you have you to repair or replace your own car. To pay your premium annually. As with many things, paying for your car insurance in. A lump sum is cheaper than paying monthly, which is essentially a loan with added interest. The significant upfront cost means it's not always attractive to do this, but it's worth considering paying with a credit card and then paying off the balance over a few months rather than a full year, potentially reducing the amount of interest paid. If you can sign up for a credit card with 0% interest 
on purchases, even better, or you could find a card that rewards purchases with points or cashback. 3. Add an experienced driver to your policy. Adding an older, more experienced driver to your policy can sometimes help to bring your annual premium down. This doesn't apply in all cases, but if the other driver has a clean license and claims history, it's a decent bet that adding them as a name driver on your policy will decrease your premium. Always be honest about who the main driver is or you risk invalidating your cover. For increase your excess. The excess is the amount you pay in the event of a claim and is split into two parts, voluntary and compulsory, together. Known as total excess. If you choose to pay a higher voluntary excess, it will reduce the price of your insurance premium, but you need to be aware of what that means in the event of an accident. For one, you won't be able to make a claim if the value of the damage is lower than your total excess. 5. Think about how you describe your job. Bizarrely, the way you describe your job can also affect your premium. For example, a chef might pay a different premium to a cook and a hairdresser might pay a different price to a barber. If you're using a price comparison website, it's worth fiddling about with different ways of describing your job to see what earns you the lowest premium. I. If you're a solicitor, for instance, try inputting lawyer or barrister to see what happens. 6. Improve security. Think about installing devices such as alarms, immobilizers, and locking wool nuts if you're unsure about installing these devices. You can get insurance quotes before fitting any security upgrades and then see if the extra cost of buying these is worth it for the insurance savings. 7. Avoid modifications. It can be tempting to modify your car, and doing so is not just the preserve of boy and girl racers, but bear in mind that any upgrades to the styling audio, or performance of your vehicle could mean an increase in the price of your insurance. 8. Build up a no-claims bonus discount. This one speaks for itself, building up your no-claims. Discount will help you too. Get a cheaper policy because insurers reward motorists who are less likely to claim. 9. Limit the mileage. If you can limit the number of miles you drive each year, means you're a lower risk for insurers. Less time on the road means less chance that you'll end up having. 10. Consider a telematics or black box policy. Black boxes, which record data about your driving in, order to form the basis for premiums, are sometimes associated with young or beginner drivers. However, anyone can get them and they can make your car insurance cheaper, provided that you're a careful driver. 11. Choose the right car. Choosing a car with its insurance group in mind is one way for drivers to potentially save hundreds of pounds every year. Cars in the UK are placed into insurance groups from 150. And the lower the group, the cheaper the car will be to insure. 12. Drive safely. At the risk of stating the abundantly obvious, the surest way to avoid a significant insurance premium hike is to avoid crashing. 
The vast majority of accidents are caused by human factors, including driving at an inappropriate speed for the conditions.